It's your boy Lagin24 coming at you with some custom zombies on the PC. What's up, every everybody? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to some custom zombies here on the map Overlook, which is the real life hotel where they filmed the movie The Shining, Stephen King's horror novel turned into cinematic masterpiece starring Jack Nicholson. And this is a map uh, for you always. This is a y'all map, a you always win map. It's yet to be released. Uh, September the 19th, I believe, you can find a link for it. But uh, for now, it's just for me. And you always win. But I look, I think that's supposed to be... Uh, I think that's supposed to be Brother Guns over there. And Meat Wagon. So you got Guns for Hire and Meat Wagon over there. And Jack Nichols Nicholson over here. I hope, I'm, I hope I'm not saying the golfer's last name. I always do that. But let's start the... Oh my God, we're in it. We're already... We just popped right on in. Yo! So there we go. Okay, guys, we have to turn on the power. <laughs> guys, the power must be turned on. So, if you're not aware of The Shining, it's a pretty cool movie. It's like a horror film where Jack Nichols Nicholson... God, please tell me that's right. Is it Jack Nicholas? No, Nicholas is the golfer. Nicholson is the famed movie actor. Okay, so... Oh! Okay, we got a soul chest right off the bat. Let's fill it up then. But Jack over there, he decides he's gonna, he's got writer's block and to help cure his writer's block, he's going to uh, be the caretaker of a closed down hotel because it's not in season and it's his job to take care of the hotel while it's closed to the public. He brings his family along and he figures he'll get nice and peaceful quiet and be able to write his novel. Instead he goes crazy and becomes a homicidal maniac and tries to terrorize his family for two hours. It's really good. It's where that famous line, here's Johnny, comes from. So there you have it. There's a little backstory for the map right there. As we fill up this soul chest, which I, I, I don't mind filling up soul chests. Oh, I want to thank Daz. Uh, Daz uh, made this map. And I want to thank him especially for allowing me to play it early. That's very, very, very kind. Uh, quite the competitive area we find ourselves in lately with zombie content. So... This was really cool to get my hands on a little bit early, so I appreciate it very much. I'll even link, I'll link Daz's uh, Twitter down below until I can link the map description. Go say hi to Daz. He's a cool dude. Look at this G3. Never hurt. Never hurt anybody except for everybody at shot, of course. What's, what's around here? So this is the hotel lobby. Man, hopefully we don't run into Jack Nicholson. Oh, there's a door there. Okay. Got the Winchester right there. Winchester might not be a bad idea, you know. Although it's probably a really bad idea. I assume if we open this one, the next one will open as well. Let's see what's up these stairs. Another Deborah. Debris. Breezy Debbie. Oh my god, you guys. That's so much fun last night. We, uh, we streamed a little Ark Survival Friday night. And I don't know if you're aware of the game too much. I know some of you guys in here are fans. And I won't talk about it too long for the people who are not fans of it. But... Oh man, we got to fight the boss. There's like a boss fight in the game that takes a while to collect everything you need to collect and then you spawn it in. And we got to do that last night. We destroyed it. It was an epic moment because I've spent way too many hours on that game. So it was finally, I feel like I finally accomplished something worth accomplishing on that game. So yay. The replay will be up on my second YouTube channel. You can find a link down below in the description of this video right here. Yes. Yes, indeed. Pick that up. Grab this. It does look like we have some debris here. Oh, can we not open this debris? Oh, we'll probably have to open it from here. 750. So we've got a few 750 options, guys. I elect we go under the stairs first and see what's what and who's who. Oh, what's that? Oh, max ammo. Just for me. Hey, zombie. No. Don't you dare. This is unacceptable behavior. Your filthy hands off of me. So today is Saturday, the day I'm actually recording this. Somehow I lost a complete entire day throughout the week. Tinky, stop! Oh my god, my dog. He's, he's being so bad. Um, I lost a complete day out of the week. I swore that yesterday was Thursday. And as I'm streaming, I'm like, hey guys, it's Thursday. Weekend's almost no! Weekend's almost here. And everyone's like, dude, it's Friday. What the hell's wrong with you? And then like there was a video earlier in the week where I thought it was Wednesday. But it was actually Thursday. You guys in that comment section were letting me know about that. I don't know what day of the week it is. Fantastic. But I think it's Saturday, which of course would then mean college football is in full effect right now. Oh, look. It's all kind of pictures from their um, Can We Survive? 
I am a huge fan of this. Um, I'm looking forward to some more episodes, but as you can see, uh, the guys at Yaw, you always win, have started a survival series where they actually go out into the wild and uh, bring survivalist gear. It's not your minimal stuff. You know, they're not just out there with a with a magnifying glass and, and a bag and trying to survive for a week. Uh, so it's a pretty cool. You can find that one on the YouTubes as well. I'm actually a big fan of that. I try to watch their custom stuff when, when I can as well. But um, being a zombie guy myself, I'm kind of kind of busy a lot of the time making my own content and, and watching some other stuff not zombie related. Because you can't just do all zombies all the time. You'll go crazy. Oh. My. Well, you guys are in big trouble now, aren't you? Can we open this door? That's a pretty expensive one. I imagine this one's going to mirror said expenses. I was wrong. Hey, hey, wait, was this the room? Is this the creepy crazy room? I don't know. But we're in here now. Might as well get it going. I don't want to get stuck in here, but we did find the mystery box, which is cool. Got a great gun off the wall. And uh, the G3's, you know, it's not bad. I don't want to be stuck in here, though. But there's only 21 zombies. I feel like... I'm not a complete idiot. We'll be just fine in here. This is a great map, man. I think this was Daz's first map as well. If this is your first map, Daz, very impressive, man. I've seen some first maps in my time. And let me tell you, this is not the map of a first-time mapper. Okay? So you did great, man. Great job on it. Good theme, too. I like the theme. Zombie maps seem to have more themes. I love themed maps. I'm a big fan of them. I think they just make the maps more interesting. Here we are in a hotel that's... Haunted to high hell, and in real life, it's said to be one of the most haunted hotels in all of the world. Let's we'll spin the box, because we're here. Why not? See if we can get something a little better in G3. Although, G3 does... Oh, that P90, though. Hey, the AUG's in there. And I saw... I think I saw the Wonder... The Winter's Howl. I almost called it the Wonder Blast. <laughs> the hell's the Wonder Blast? Nobody knows for sure. All right. Let's go... I, I thought I said we were going to start out under the stairs. Oh, we did do under the stairs. What was under here? A box location? And some photographs of the boys. Now, before everyone starts acting crazy, and you should do something with You Always Win. They've got their own thing going on. You know, they, they, are, they are a business and a brand, and You Always Win does not include lagging 24X, okay? That's not part of their branding. They're great guys. I speak to guns uh, pretty, pretty often on, on Twitter. I've had some good conversations, and... Uh, could be working with him in the future on his personal channel, away from you always win. But I can't really discuss any of that right now. So, there you have it. I don't speak to Meaty too much, but he's still an awesome dude. All right, we have one zombie left. I guess we'll go this way and explore. Maybe that zombie will just kind of hang out and go along for the ride. Why is... Okay. Oh, the XM8. Can we go this way? I think so. Thousand points. All right, we got a long hallway. Let's go explore it. We filled up one soul chest. I'm going to assume that there are multiple soul chests, chesticles on this map, and we'll see what's what soon enough. Okay, another hallway. Oh boy. Okay, doors galore. But thank God, some mappers would make this like tw like two thousand points per door. So we don't. We're not. Here's a soul chest, though. I guess we'll stay right here. This this seems capable. We'll see what happens. I've got two good guns, so I feel like we're all right. So this is a 750. I'm not going to open these doors. We're going to wait till the end of the round because I don't know if they're going to unleash spawns if I open this door. I don't want any spawn points other than what's in front of me. Hopefully there's no risers right beside me or anything. That could be a problem. Oh, hey. Don't lose your head. It's just a video game. Yuck, 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 yuck. What are you guys doing this weekend? Got any plans? Anything cool going on? Saturday and Sunday activities. It is a holiday weekend over here in America. So you'll probably have Monday off from school, I'm guessing, and from work if you're super lucky. So long weekend. I, for one, will be going out this evening over to a buddy's house where we will be grilling delicious meats off of his grill and watching some college football and eating the meats. I like that. I would... Oops, did I kill them all? No, there's two left. I didn't need to pick that up because now I can't make a crawler. Okay, let's quickly open a door and see see what's going on, I guess. Aw. Uh, Aw, uh, it's a troll door. 
Hey, there's something in here. The M9, M9, Barretta. Oh, it's a troll door. Oh crap, shouldn't have done that. Let's see if we can make a crawler as soon as this, uh, this here inch to kill goes away. Well, come on, man. Here we go. We'll put that right there. Run around the corner, hide. How'd we do? <laughs> Not good at all. Hang on. Put that one there. Come around the corner and hide. Hey, it worked out. It worked out. Let's go explore. We got 2,900 more points. Did we clear that? Uh, I don't think we cleared the soul chest. Crap. It's going to reset. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. But uh, maybe we did clear it. No, we didn't clear it. And it's obviously going to reset. I'm, what am I doing? First day playing zombies, everybody. Lagging 24x. Oh, it's Troll Door. Hey! Where the hell's the power at? All right, is that... Hey, look, it's a pretty doggy. Kind of kind of reminds me of Tiki. Hello, dog. How are you? Looks like he might have a little Rottweiler in him. See them big droopy eyes and the eyebrows? Reminds me very much of my dog, Tiki. Very cool. That must be one of the guys' dogs. 2,000-point door. We got... Oh, yeah, there's doors here to open, too. Okay, well, I've got a little more points. Let's start on the left. I am left-handed. We've got some Simtex. And then we'll bounce. So I don't have any more points. Let's kill this zombie. Dang it, man. I'm telling you, I screwed up, guys. That soul chest is definitely closed for business now. We're going to have to restart it. But I do have enough ammo here to try again. I think at the end of this round, I might, if we don't get a max ammo, I might need to look into getting said ammunition. Although, 355 and 120, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Guys, if you're ever interested in any products uh, that, that I endorse, that sponsor me, that I'm an affiliate of... You can find those down below in the description. Currently, you can save 10% off of all control free products by using code LAGIN24. And if you're in the mood for some energy drink supplements, there is Respawn Energy. And you can save 10% off that as well by using code LAGIN. So both of those links are down below in the description of this video, right? Meow. And check it out if you want to, as well as my second channel, as well as some playlists you may find to your liking etc etc twitter links t-shirt shop link is down there sold a lot of my lagging t-shirts that's really cool of you guys i appreciate the support on that that's that's fun we're gonna have a hoodie coming soon because fall is just around the corner i'm sure my brothers to the uh, north there in the great white canada would appreciate a hoodie so we'll get that out pretty soon actually oh dang it i forgot i forgot you guys we're gonna fill this up though we can't make a crawler until this is filled up and we did get a max ammunition, so we're good, we're good. Let's use the AUG a little bit. Hey, I'm inside of it. Hang on. There we go. I'm protected. <laughs> I'm sure this is going to work just fine. If I stay in here, they can't get me. I'm in the chest of souls over here. This is a horrible idea, but let's just... Oh, they're not getting close enough. Put your soul in the box. Oh, double points will be great. We can open up a lot more doors. I want to see some of that 2,000 point door. That seems like that could be a thing. Oh, we need Speed Cola bad, you guys. This is not... You know, I'm having a fun. It's all fun and games here until, until I have to reload. And that's not very fun. So just tap it. Just tap it. Oh, God. Okay, get in here for a second. Okay. Kind of, kind of a problem now. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is not where I want to find myself at. Let's see if we can get ourselves back out of this situation. We can. There's three zombies left. Great. I think we've done it. I got a little sketchy. That box is... Yes, it just did fill up. It just did fill up. I was about to say we're going to have to do another round. I know where Speed Cola is. I just need the power to get turned on. Let's go around the corner and hide from the blast. We did it, guys. We got two crawlers. All right, where were we? We're opening up doors right here where these guys are at. Oh, it's a troll door. <laughs> it's a troll door, guys. So look, yeah, there's more there's more stuff around the map, too. If you're a fan of You Always Win, you're going to notice a lot of memorabilia as you're walking by. Photos of days gone by, if it were. If you will. If I were. Oh, the troll door. What's in this one? Hey, the power. Found the power. That's great. It's great news for us. Get rid of that guy. He seems to be in the way a little bit. One of these doors, I'm assuming, will have Jug in it. Where is it? Oh, we got a big old LMG here. The saw, 3,000. Should we grab it? Let's grab Speed Cola first. 
I'm going to open up the rest of the doors in this hallway, and there's another soul chest down at the end of this hallway here that we're going to have to work on. So all these are open. No jug in here, but there's speed. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Let's see what else we can get open. Oh, it's a troll door. Oh, it's a troll door. <laughs> Everything's a troll door. All right, MP5 possibly? MP5, yeah, that's MIP, MIP5 there. Oh, it's a troll door. Okay. And I do have enough for the 2,000 point door, so might as well. Hey, packs the punch. You sass. M60, M60 though. M60 though. And pack a punch. Guys, where does one feel like Juggernaut would be at? Did we pass a door maybe? Let me just backtrack for a minute. Let's see if we can or cannot find said Juggernaut. Because if I can find it, man, this map looks great. It really does. This is a good damn job. Uh, so there's that. There's speed coal. We haven't run into double tap. I feel like I'm missing an entire section of the map here. Maybe just walked past it or something. You sure there's no doors back here? What's the radio do? It's not a radio. It's a, it's a record player. Um, huh. Was there something upstairs I missed then? Yeah, this door. Here we go. There's a door right there, you big dummy. I bet I bet we'll find colas in there. And then what is this? This doesn't... Oh, this, this is a whole other hallway. Okay. We got it. We've, okay. Well, let's, uh, we've got speed, so I, I feel like we can camp that hallway and fill up this other soul box with decent success, so let's give it a try. I mean, come on, guys. What's the worst that can happen? As he says loudly, out loud to his audience. All right. Well, with speed call in our corner, I feel like we'll have a much better... Much better chance of filling this one up. Now, we're going to backtrack once we build the points uh, needed. And we will go find uh, whatever else this map has to offer. It might not just be... Oh, we should wait for them to come down a little closer, though. Um, might not just be the three. Could be more soul chests upstairs. There's a whole other hallway, plus a, a mystery door that costs 2,000 points to open. And I don't want to go down here, because that speed cola is a costly one. Let's try to be as careful as possible here. See what we can do. Yeah, let's go inside of your box. Okay, we're going to switch weapons here for a little bit. Just for a little bit. I don't want to be picking up that nuke, but I really want to be picking up that uh, max ammunition. Let's see if we can sneak grab it here. I got it. I got it, guys. Don't worry. Without touching the nuke. We can get maximum souls in the chesticle here. And this will certainly help. A pretty good round. I don't think it's filled though. It's not been filled yet. Maybe that one did it? No, we couldn't be so lucky. So we'll fill it up the, by the end of this round, I'm hoping. It would be great. And that wasn't too bad at all. But here we are in the cursed round 11, which isn't a curse at all, actually. I don't, I don't know where that just came from. But the curse of round 11 has begun. We must fill up the box. There we go. Get in your holes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get in the box. Get in the box. Okay, we don't have insta-kill anymore. Probably put a couple more bullets in him. There we go. Come on, fill up. Even if it does fill up, we're kind of stuck down this hallway. Can't really go anywhere. So we might as well tuck ourselves in tight. It's going to be a long night in this hallway. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I just had to spray a little bit from the hip there. A little crazy. All right, there goes the soul chest. We did it. I don't really want to pick up that nuke. There's only nine left. I feel like we have a good chance of making a crawler here any second now. Pass the nuke. Oh, I got past the nuke. That's good. That was pretty good. That was a bad throw. They're all going to run past that one, I feel. All right, here we go. Here we go. That'll be a good one. All right, that's maybe made a crawler there. I'm not sure. There's four zombies. There's a fast, two fast ones. All right, since there says it's four left and there's not two coming out the door, I'm going to assume we made two more crawlers. Ooh, good... A couple rounds there, guys. Good job, everybody. You know, we could pack a punch. Could do that. Or we can go exploring. And I say explore first. Pack a punch later. So uh, through the Outlook Hotel. Outlook? Pretty sure that's the name. Outlook Hotel. We go and we will find out what is behind door a number 2000. There's an axe. Tell me this is a melee weapon. No. Oh, it's the end game. So 22. As in Meat Wagon 22, I believe. That's his round. You guys know I like to do the 24 thing, so that's kind of cool. All right, so we found the end game, 
And then I'm assuming we will find Jug and double tap down this hallway here. Awesome map, Daz. This is fun, man. I like this one. All right, Troll Door? Question mark? Oh, not a Troll Door indeed. One of my favorite guns that I love seeing in the custom zombies. I'm going to grab this. Yes, please, and thank you so much. Got a little book here in case you want to do some reading and call a friend. How would you like to have gotten this room in this hotel? Not a very, not a very quaint room. I don't know if that was the word I was looking for. It's the one I said. The hell's Jug at? Uh, AK-74U, I'm assuming. It is indeed. There's double tap. So last door's got to have the Jug in it. Not the last door at all. Hey, look, we're overlooking the balcony, the lobby of the hotel. That's kind of cool. Oh, a fourth mysterious soul chest. Is this a scavenger? No. I'm going to say, you put the scavenger on the wall by, you're an instant legend. Oh, dear God. Oh, my. Hey, Jug! We found Jug, finally! Red rum, everybody. Red rum. Which, of course, spelled backwards is murder. I'm surprised it's not written on the walls in blood somewhere around here. That'd be kind of cool. We got the deagle there, pretty beastly. This one's going to be a tough one. You have to stand here like this and just get it. Get it as they come in. We do have the gun for it now with the P90. We have spent literally all of our points, and we do have a soul chest to fill up, so... I guess we'll try it. Let's hope there's no riser spawn in here. Let's hope no one was feeling evil when they were making this map. But let's find the crawler. Actually, we might be able to get him from the balcony up here. Let's see. Where are you, crawler? There he is. Not exactly a ranged weapon. Okay, it's more for your... There's another one below us. There he is. All right, good, good, good. All right, let's try this one, guys. We got this one and then another one to fill up. Uh, at the end of this round, hopefully we will have enough for the jug. That'd be great. We can get jug in our life and breathe a little easier. Okay. Sounds like they're, they, sounds like they're spotting in here. Oh, God. Not going to be fun. Not going to be a fun box to fill. Okay, I'm already running and panicking. Oh, we're going to... Oh, I almost turned in time and got him. Dang it. Dang it. There's our first down. It might be uh, one of these situations to be continued here because now without speed, I am in a whole heap of trouble. And yes, we are certainly going down now. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, new plan, guys. When life hands you lemons, you make lemonade, or in our case, go back and do this box first. Oh, well, the first one's in the spawn room, but let's do this one second, see... Seeing how it seems like it might be the most difficult one to do. Uh, we'll do this one second, right? And then what I'll do is cut into ahead in the video. I will have already done the other two in the hallway. And you'll join me for what I hope is the final one. And uh, we'll do that. But first, got to get through this one. So let's see if we can do this one first. Should be okay. Fingers crossed. Since it's a low round, it should probably take a little less to fill up. And uh, we can get out of here with our lives. But this is just a weird room because there's two riser spawns in here. Making it a little more challenging than those two hallway boxes we filled up earlier. And I have a feeling the jug one won't be a problem. I can't imagine there being risers in there. I uh, really wanted that. It's kind of a tight room. So I think they'll only be coming from in front in the jug room. So we should be fine in there. We'll see what happens. But uh, I think the goal here now is to get power turned on. We'll get jug. We'll get speed. We'll pack a bunch of weapon. And we'll do that. That soul chest in the jug room last, I think, after we do the things I just mentioned. Now, we do know where the Bible ending is, so we can tackle that and not worry about these soul chests. But I do want to see, hey, it's done and the round's done. Perfect. Let's go. Hang on. Give me this, this extra points. What am I doing? All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to go do the things I already did in the first part of the video, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. And this time I brought a friend, Big Bertha. Oh, this thing? It's just the AA-12 Pack-A-Punch, is all. Sure to wreck zombies right in the face. Now, if we're super lucky, they're just going to come through this door. I'm just waiting for this last zombie from round 15. Then round 16 is going to start, and we're going to see how we have to deal with these zombies. But this, I think, is the final soul chest, so we should get some sort of prize for filling it up. Some Something might be unlocked, maybe a hidden door or a secret or I don't know. Maybe we'll get a blue ribbon sent to us in the mail. I can't wait to find out, though, so let's get it started. We do have two riser spots in here. This doesn't look like there's one over there. That's the deagle on the wall. There's certainly not a riser spot behind us, which is great news, where Jug Machine is. I don't think there would be room for that. I think they're just coming from in front of us, so 
With this AA-12 being as beastly as it is, I think we're going to be just fine. Now, this thing I found in the Pack-A-Punch room across from the saw that was in there. I didn't even see it, I don't think, when we first went through there. But uh, it was in there right next to Pack-A-Punch. And I was like, let's put two and two together here. Let's, sh let's stick this into that and see what comes out. And of course, Big Bertha did. She's been wrecking face ever since. This is a fantastic gun. As you can see, this is much easier than using, like, the Bison or probably anything else you're going to get from the box. This gun is OP, and I'm okay with that. Dude, we almost got this thing filled up. Also, I believe the viable ending is 22000 As you can see, we're pretty close to that, so let's see what our prize is. Maybe we'll, maybe it's a gun, and if it is, we'll play with it for a round, and then we'll get out of here at a respectable round somewhere probably by 20, I'm thinking. Let's see. Not getting a ton of points from using the shotgun, actually. Uh, it's 60 per kill, but if you line them up, you get like double points or whatever. Let's see. It was 130. Oh, we're speaking of double points. Wow, right on the dot there, game. Oh, God. Oh, God, reload. There we go. There we go. All right, calm down, everybody. Hey, Max Ammo, I'm going to get that. Get that. Can't see anything. Okay. Here we go. Fill up, box. Fill up, box. I guess I'll just get this now. The round's over, pretty much. All right, we're doing another round in here, it would appear. I still have the, I have the bison as my secondary. I think I'm going to leave it unpack a bunched so that we could points... Well, I was going to say points build with it because it'll be a little weaker, but we don't need to. We have 22,190 points. That's enough for the viable ending. But we still got to get to it, guys. We've still got to fill this soul chest. It seems to be taking all of the zombies to fill up. How many are even in this round? There's 44 left. Probably started with 50-something. We filled it up. We filled it up, and I heard something spawn in. A carpenter? Okay. I'm thinking there's more to the story than just the carpenter. Is that the first carpenter we've seen, actually? Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it's better not have been a troll. If it is, I'm kind of laughing because it's Carpenter. But uh, other than that, I'm not laughing. I am laughing. I think there's something more to it. We'll go check the lobby of the hotel. There's three zombies left. I would like to get past this. Okay, let's not die right here. All right, he got me. He trapped me. Is there something down here? Oh, it's over there. Let's go see what it is, guys. We'll take it, whatever it is. Maybe it's the ray gun. Maybe the ray gun wasn't available in the box of a thousand boxes, huh? We'll fight our way to it. Oh, it's the ray gun. It is the ray gun. Get this. Give me that. Go through here. Hold him off. Are the riser spawns in here. There is dirty game. Dirty. Dirty map maker. I'm getting out of here. We beat the map. There's your prize. A wonderful ray gun. And there you have it, guys. The Shining reinvented, reimagined into a custom zombie map. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Big thanks to da Daz. You can check out his link to his Twitter down below. He made this map. I think it was very nice of him to let me play it earlier. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, please do pack a punch that like button. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.